one. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you could create a sort of a notification panel, uh, the same as you can see in the screen. Uh, I'm kind of a fan of this kind of uh, notifications uh, since you have like icons to the left and also a lot of information and I really like the vertical line with the icons so I'll, I'll teach you how you can create something similar and then you can go ahead and modify it to, uh, to the best uh, look that you like. Alright, let's get it started. So as a starter uh, I'm gonna create a uh, container div and then I will add uh, an ordered list with a bunch of LIs uh, for the icons that uh, we can see here uh, I really like the icons from the Ionicons pack it's a pack from uh, Ionic framework developers so you, can, you could easily go to ionicons.com and then there's actually a CDN link down here uh, I'll copy this uh, from here and then add it as a link and then what you can do is that you can easily choose one of these let's say for example I don't know like uh, check mark for example uh, let's choose this one and then you can come here in your LI and then add a I element and then give it a class of ion check mark and as you can see here you'll see that you have the check mark over here let's add a couple of these let's choose for example I don't know like message or no, send for example let's choose this one copy this and then in the second li let's add i give it a class of this and then choose like i don't know like like add and then choose this one and obviously these are the actions that your notification is aiming for so let's add I here with a class of <coughs> ion plus uh, let's let's just use three as you can see you can see these three over here now what I'm trying to achieve is to remove these bullets here so let's add a style and then go for uh, I will add a class to the UL as well, calling it notification bar maybe, and then the class notification bar, and we do list style none, as you can see, they're not there anymore, and then I would like to give them a round shape with a border, so notification bar, then li and then our i element i'd like to give it a width of 30 pixel and height of 30 pixel then um, display block text align center to center it and then line height to 30 pixel to center it vertically and uh, give a border of one pixel solid and then the color and as you can see we have it in the shape of a square in order to make it a um, circle you give a border radius of 15 percent I will give a padding let's or, or basically maybe margin is better margin top to uh, or let's actually add it to the li element instead of the i within them so let's add a uh, margin or margin top to be 30 or maybe more 60 pixels cool now in order to let's let's actually do like this let's uh, give the padding to zero for the uh, unordered list and then also margin to zero 
and define the uh, position as relative. So nothing has changed. A little bit of margin, uh, margin is uh, and padding is removed from the element. We can easily add it to the container element here. Uh, I will give it a padding of let's say 20 pixel and uh, yeah now you can see that you have your padding so to speak and then in order to create the line uh, that we saw here I will use this so we have our UL element which is the notification bar and then I will do after we don't want to give any content so content empty or uh, yeah, empty string and then uh, we want to give it a width of one pixel height of 100 percent it's very important height 100 percent and then a background color to maybe the same you know color as the borders here and obviously you want to define the position as absolute all right so right now we have this bar but what we need to do is to define like top give it a top like four pixel depending on you know the distance that you want from the actual element and then since our um, I element has the width of 30 we want to say left 15 pixels and as you can see it centers out in order to because it overlaps we give it a z, z index of minus one and also our i element doesn't have a background let's have a, a background color of white and now you can see that you have a very nice sort of centered uh, vertical line on these guys uh, let's add some content to our allies let's say Okay, this is my um, third third notification. And then copy it to the other li, set it to second notification, and then obviously the first notification. As you can see, it looks something like this. What we need to do is to position these. So. We know that they are in the li element i will copy this and then i will put a div here as our selector and then what i will do is that i'm gonna do a, a margin left of let's say 40 pixels and then we want so let's see how it looks and then we want to maybe a little bit more maybe 50 and then we want to move them a little bit up so i will do margin top to minus 20 let's see how it looks maybe 25 looks pretty good so one addition that I have on top of this is that I would like to have a <coughs> horizontal line between uh, the icon that I have with the text so let's add that so in order to add that you know we already have these I elements so I'll take take use of that and I'll copy this and what I want to do is that after all of these I want to define a content again nothing and then I will give it, give it a width of let's say 40 pixel and then height of 1 pixel and give it a position of absolute and then I will give a background color of the same color of the, as the borders so let's see how it looks so far cool now in order to center this I just need to do uh, more or, or maybe top to uh, 15 pixel half of the height of the icons here and then uh, oh there is a problem though because uh, if I put a top it aligns all of them so I will do margin top instead so they preserve their, their own position as well and the same way we do z index we want to throw it back so we do z index minus one and as you can see uh, it gets long uh, as the last thing i want to style these divs as well 
So let's go to the div section and then do a border like one pixel solid same color as the border colors and then maybe a padding of 10 pixel and then a background color of white and uh, yeah let's see how it looks yeah nice so you can you can also move this div up and down by changing the margin top let's put like 30 maybe and here we go we have a sort of a notification bar with icons and connected lines i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe to get uh, more uh, nice videos such as this one and comment if you have any questions or concerns regarding this i'm planning to uh, re release the codes to to github soon uh, but the effort really requires you guys to sub subscribe to this to this video to, to support me in order to create these, these tutorials. Thank you very much for listening. Have a good day.